It's a pleasure to welcome Director General of FAO, the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, Dr. Chu Dong-Yu, uh, European Space Agency Director General, Dr. Joseph Aschbacher, Her Excellency Ambassador of France to FAO, Céline Jorgensen, His Excellency Ambassador of the Russian Federation to FAO, Viktor Vasiliev, Acting Deputy Chief of Mission of the United States of America, Jody Bressler, and of course, uh, to our special guest, European Space Agency astronaut Thomas Pesquet, who is joined with colleagues and members of the FAO core leadership joining this event. Welcome to all and bienvenue. So 60 years ago, on April 12th, 1961, Russian cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin completed one full orbit of the Earth, becoming the first human to travel space. In celebration of this feat, the United Nations General Assembly declared the day as the International Day of Human Spaceflight, a fitting occasion for this ceremony. So for some time now, FAO, the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, has been working very closely in a wonderful collaboration with astronaut Thomas Pesquet. This with an aim to raise awareness of common goals and objectives to support communities and countries in the quest for a better and more sustainable future for people, for planet, and leaving no one behind. Today, we are taking this partnership one giant step forward. And without further ado, I would like to give the floor to our Director General, Chu Dong Yu. Thank you. Uh... Thank you, uh, Yasmina. Welcome, Excellencies, colleagues, and of course, the European Space Agency astronaut, Thomas Pesca. Good morning, Houston. Thank you all for being here today for this very special occasion. FAO's noble mission is to end hunger and malnutrition on this planet. Yet, as we speak, there is over 800 million undernourished people on the Earth. The number of the hunger has been increasing over the past few years. COVID-19 pandemic has pushed yet more people into hunger. Business as usual is not an option. Achieve the sustainable development goals and eliminate hunger poverty by 2030, we must transform the way we produce, deliver, and consume food. Everyone has a critical role in this transformation to achieve better production, better nutrition, better environment, and better life. But we cannot do this alone. Working together with our 194 members, we needed to mobilize the entire society. We needed to support of every individual. We need science and we need action, most of all. Thomas Pesca brings us a unique perspective from the vantage point of space Thomas, when we met together just a year ago, you talked about looking at the planet Earth from space and seeing how beautiful and yet fragile it is. We talked about the planet Earth being our spaceship, providing everything we need to grow our food and live healthy lives. We discussed the importance of using science to improve the policy, engage consumers, and advocate for sustainable lifestyles. Indeed, space sciences offer so much help, potential to farmers. FAO is, for example, having countries use satellite data to guide their policies. In this regard, we have excellent ongoing collaboration with the European Space Agency. And I thanks to the uh, newly appointed Director General, Mr. Achebache, being with us today. Over the years, Thomas has worked in the support of the, of the FAO to help the rise of awareness of the impact of the climate change on a culture, of the importance of access to nutritious food, and of how critical it is for us to manage our natural resources wisely, reduce the food loss and waste. I'm delighted that today you are committed to working even more closely with us in your new capacity as an FAO Goodwill Ambassador. This is rare honor and responsibility reserved for every 
very exceptional individuals. You have uh, earned it through your solid track record supporting the work of the FAO. You will soon fly to the International Space Station, taking with you an FAO flag as a UN flag. You see uh, on my back, ground is the UN flag and FAO flag. And in, the, in between, it's in Chinese. It's a double happiness and a double lucky to you and to all your co colleagues who is going to the mission. So I wish you a successful mission. I look forward to connecting with you in International Space Station. And of course, I look forward to working closely with you for many missions to come in space and on this beautiful blue planet. So welcome on board, Thomas. And thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Director General, for, for your words. I'd like to now hand over uh, the microphone to the European Space Agency Director General, Dr. Joseph Aschbacher. The floor is yours, sir. So thank you, uh, Yasmina. Uh, thank you also, Director General of uh, FAO, Dr. Du. Uh, hello, uh, all the ambassadors, your excellencies, and of course, hello to Thomas. Uh, our astronaut uh, sitting right now in uh, Houston waiting to take off and go to outer space. So it's really a pleasure to be with you. Thank you for this invitation. Uh, and this is a very special occasion. And I would like just to underline that uh, astronauts are our best ambassadors they, to talk about uh, not only the exploration part, but also how the satellites and space applications can benefit our planet Earth. Uh, these ambassadors uh, like uh, uh, Thomas Pesquet are our greatest ambassadors for the general public and for the youth in particular, as they are giving a real human touch to our work. All astronauts return from the International Space uh, Station talking about how they were struck by the fragility of the Earth, even if the first expectation from the public is to hear them talk about deep uh, space exploration. But the experience on the ISS is also one of sustainable food use, which of course for the FAO is of utmost importance. Thomas brought the Paris Agreement to the International Space Station during his first flight. And now this goodwill ambassadorship is the next step. His uh, patch features a tribute to the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals to highlight Thomas's and ESA's commitment to this common fight. Climate change is making it harder to achieve zero hunger. It destroys livelihoods of people who are growing our foods and put agriculture at risk in most vulnerable areas. ESA is supporting the FAO in its fight for sustainable agriculture and food security. And satellites help monitor climate variables and therefore assessing and mitigating and adapting different scenarios. Many variables to monitor climate change are only visible from space. And ESA is working to make monitoring from space even more precise and local to ensure countries can then enforce the Paris Agreement in the most efficient way. I thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Ashbacher, Director General of uh, ESA. Um, and uh, I will now uh, ask if uh, the, uh, Her Excellency, the Ambassador of France to FAO, uh, Ms. Céline Jorgensen, would like to say a few words. Hello, good morning, dear Director General, dear Thomas Pesquet. We are very pleased to be here today. Uh, this is a very uh, special day. We are proud to have uh, a French and a European astronaut here on board um, for this uh, very special journey, working towards uh, peace, uh, food for everybody and achieving uh, you know, all the, uh, the goals of uh, sustainable development. So we very much looking forward to working with you and uh, bon vol, merci à vous. <laughs> merci beaucoup, Madame l'Ambassadrice. Director General Chu Dong Yu, the time has now come to present the scroll to the European Space Agency astronaut Thomas Pesquet. 
After a few moments, we'll have a few photographs and then we will give the floor to Thomas Pesquet. Over to you. Now I hereby present you the score official designated you, Thomas Pesquet, as a good ambassador. So I show you virtually. Yeah? Thank you, Director General. It is now with great pleasure that I hand over the microphone uh, to uh, our European Space Agency astronaut, Thomas Pesquet, recently Goodwill Ambassador. Thomas Pesquet, uh, la parole est à vous. Thank you, Yasmina. Merci, Yasmina. Uh, uh, dear Director General Xu Dongyu, dear uh, Joseph, Your Excellencies, dear colleagues and friends, um, I'm, I'm very proud today, obviously, to, to accept the nomination as, a, as an FAO Goodwill Ambassador. Uh, my relationship with FAO started a few years back in a, in a very personal way, and I was exposed little by little to, uh, to uh, the topics that FAO deals with on a daily basis, um, the fight against hunger and food insecurity. Um, however, when I flew to space in, in 2017, my, my perspective changed uh, drastically. Um, I became very much aware of the of the parallel between our, our home planet and and our spaceship, like like Director General uh, Chu said a little bit earlier. Um, after all, Earth is also a spaceship um, flying through space with limited resources. Uh, the problems are the same. There's a hostile environment that you have to deal with, limited resources that you have to share, um, and there's a need to get along, you know, among the crew. Uh, and to work together to achieve your goals. Um, I also was the witness of the, the effects of climate change on our planet um, and the consequences of, of human action. So I tried to document all these um, from space and, and advocate for more uh, respect for the environment. Because um, going to space with humans or, or satellites, it, it actually gives you the, the step back uh, that you need to, to just gather the, the data at a, at a global level. Um, so after this mission, when I came back to Earth uh, from this privileged venture point um, that enabled me to, to see so much, I, I was looking for a way to, to take action as the, as the next logical step. Um, the goals were clear, but, but the process um, was less. I, I, wanted to be, I wanted it to be an international corporation because it's the way I think we're able to, to solve um, problems in a more global manner. Um, I wanted it to be uh, in a scientific manner and, and evidence-driven and fact-driven because I'm a scientist at heart and, and I believe that unbiased science is, is really the way to tackle most of, of today's problems. Um, I wanted it to, to lean on technology, but maybe, but to be human-centered um, because it's like in space exploration, you can achieve a lot with technology only, but, but when the human is your goal, when the human is on board, um, then you really make things change and, and evolve at, at a bigger scale. Um, so the more I thought about it, the, the more I worked uh, with FAO, the, the more it seemed obvious that the closer cooperation was, was ticking all the, all the boxes. So, so I was thrilled and, and very honored to, to learn that, that FAO was considering me as a, as a, as a goodwill ambassador. And, and today, as I'm, as I'm preparing for my upcoming mission, I'm, I'm feeling closer than ever to the, to the work of FAO. I want to bring awareness to the fight against food insecurity and hunger. And I want to highlight the relationships between our respective organizations who work together on a, on a daily basis. So I look very much forward to our common work um, in the months to come and in the years to come. I look forward to meeting you again uh, from the ISS remotely, unfortunately, and a little bit like everyone to the nowadays, I look forward to meeting you in person um, and to assist as much as I can, to support as much as I can FAO's work on the field. Uh, where it's also, I think, the most needed by the population. So thank you very much for the honor and uh, let's, let's keep on the good work. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Thomas. Thank you for your, for your words, for your inspiring words. We are very excited to continue our collaboration, to advocate and to do exactly what you're talking, making those connections between innovation and science in a journey forward to a, to a better world. And if I can take from both your words and the Director General's words and put them together, uh, let's work together to preserve our common spaceship 
Mother Earth, as you had called her. And so once again, we wish you a successful mission and look forward to connecting this summer uh, virtually uh, while you are in space. Encore une fois, nous vous souhaitons une excellente mission remplie de succès et avons hâte de connecter avec vous quand vous serez dans l'espace. Et ceci était la cérémonie de désignation de l'astronaute Thomas Pesquet comme ambassadeur de bonne volonté à la FAO, l'Organisation des Nations Unies pour l'alimentation et l'agriculture. You have been following the designation ceremony of astronaut Thomas Pesquet as Goodwill Ambassador for FAO, the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations. Director one, General, one, this one is planet, your floor. One planet, one dream. And this mission makes a big difference because you are more close heart with the FAO compared to the last mission, 2017. So each mission, you have different feeling. That makes we are human beings different from uh, uh, physicists and, and uh, me uh, mechanized uh, uh, robot. So keep ourselves, it's real humanity and work for, for the one planet, one house and one dream. Thank you. Okay, good luck. Thank you. Thank Thanks, you. Thank 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 you.